Hello, it's Jimmy O'Reilly's looking at a Land Rover Discovery Sport. So I'm inside the car and start up. You can see you got this message here. Should we come back on now? Just need to wait for a moment. No engine restarts in 230 miles at Blue Fog, basically. Exhaust dosing malfunction. So looking on the live data and I can see the knock sensors are working. So I'm going to go back. Go to the trouble codes here that we're looking at. So we've got that uh, P2B AE and P2B AF00. So these codes here, this one is driver inducement active. I think that just relates to um, it's activated the uh, countdown for the mileage and then the NOx exceedance is the NOx sensor or NOx sensor is reading the that the emissions are too high and I'm gonna bet money on it that it's because the AdBlue system is blocked so this is another customer here who has filled up from the shell AdBlue containers it's got all this sort of scale around it The AdBlue cap. You can see something immediately wrong there is it's missing the rubber seal. So we'll get one of those and put it back in there. Pretty sure these have a little rubber ring that goes around the inside to seal it to stop the air getting in there. So I'm underneath the car and we're looking at the AdBlue injector. So I'm going to take off this little cross brace here. Of 13 millimeter bolts just so I can get into it a little bit easier and get it out or we don't have to actually take them out so I'm going to use this kit here just to uh, open the uh, blue injector up oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's already broken off The rest of the bolt is left in there, so it's already broken. So we'll just use the clamp to open it. Just gonna pull that apart. So you can see this here is gonna be the problem. It's a blocked add blue injector there. Get in there with this pick. And just pull that off. So now I've got all of the crystallization there, uh, just pulled off, going to use a little bit of brake cleaner just to wash it off. And it should just look like that. Now I've got that back on, I need to squeeze this clamp together but I can't get my pliers in here without removing this cross brace so we're going to remove it. So just clamp that together there now and then just make sure it's pushed in just so it's gripping properly that's it now you can see that that's not going anywhere the bolt is just to secure it that's all but we'll obviously advise a new clip on that this stuff 
hear the ad blue from the petrol stations. Every single uh, vehicle I've had with ad blue problems, funnily enough, has got the same bottle of ad blue that they've topped up with. So I'm gonna erase the codes. Obviously, that doesn't clear them. Go back. Back. Hot functions. Particle filter after treatment. Let's see what options we have. Differential regeneration. Service. Powertrain. Let's have a read through these to see what we have here. Options. Clear all adaptive values. Exhaust fluid prime and pressure test. Start inhibit. This is the one we're looking for here. Selective catalytic start inhibit. Read that this allows the vehicle to restart after the ad blue countdown has elapsed basically Yes. Yes, reset the mileage timer. So number two. Now it's going to read the codes and then clear them. Press OK. Turn the ignition off, press OK again, wait for that to go up. Now we're going to put a adaptions on the injection pump to say we've put a new one on it. So reset the calibration, yes. That's complete. Press OK. Now that's complete, so press OK. So we still have two fault codes in there. Try and clear them. Might need to reset the NOx sensor as well to clear the codes. Okay, so that's completed, but it says there's still codes logged. So we're going to go into this one now. The quality monitor. And reset that. Yes, yes, okay, so that's done, then we'll press that, 
It's completed successfully. Okay. Ignition's off. Ignition back on. Fault code scan again. I should know this procedure by now. I should have done the um, um, quality reset first, really. Uh, it's, it's hard to keep track of all these sort of procedures that you do in each different vehicle, but yeah, it's usually always this one that resets that. The quality monitor, which is basically the NOx sensor, is what reads the quality of the of the 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 emissions where i get confused sometimes is the last vehicle i had was uh like a dosen malfunction so i had to reset the uh ad blue injector but this one is obviously a nox exceedance so it's the it's the quality really so now we're clearing the codes again this time they should clear it's okay initializing reading the fault codes completed successfully okay so that's done now we'll go back uh, let's just run a diagnostic scan and see if the st codes have cleared yep codes have now gone passed there So there's no more warnings there for the driving so now we just take it for a 10 minute test drive just to confirm that the faults aren't returning okay so that's a little drive done there and we shall check yeah definitely no codes there so basically what causes this code is the NOx exceedance is the AdBlue injector gets blocked it doesn't push through the AdBlue to reduce the NOx the NOx sensor then down this end picks, up, picks it up and triggers off the warning. So that's it all finished on that. See you in the next video.